Lordstown Automobile Troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your Lordstown automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Lordstown Automobile Troubleshooting Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes, warn brake pads or squeaky brakes. If you ever hear a squeaking or high-pitched squealing sound coming from your brakes, it is likely that your brake pads are either dirty and need to be cleaned or worn down and need to be replaced. But don't be alarmed. This is a pretty common car issue especially with older vehicles. The brake system is intended to wear out over time with use, some quicker than others depending on how often they are used. Given your vehicle's brakes are vital to ensure you can safely stop. If you notice any symptoms of worn brake pads, like squealing, squeaking, or a soft brake pedal, you should have it inspected by a professional mechanic as soon as possible for brake repairs if needed. Flat tire. Although it is common for a tire to deflate over time, most tires become flat after being punctured by an object such as a nail. Most punctures can be fixed with a tire repair kit or patch. But large punctures or slashes generally warrant a tire replacement. However, it's also possible for simple wear and tear to be the main cause of a flat tire. To help extend the lifespan of your tires, be sure to keep them properly rotated. We recommend that you rotate your tires every 5.000 miles or every time you get an engine oil change to help prevent unnecessary tire wear and tear. Coolant issues. As with any car, it's important to keep your EV cool to avoid overheating. While EVs are less likely to overheat, they are sensitive to extreme temperatures. And running the air conditioning in extreme weather conditions can impact overall battery health. EVs are built to keep themselves cool. So if your car is overheating, it may be a coolant issue. Check the owner's manual to find out the recommended maintenance schedule. Since this can vary a bit from model to model, ask a mechanic if you have any concerns. Since trying to change the coolant yourself may void the warranty. Brake issues. Electric cars use a system called regenerative braking, which conserves energy from slowing down or stopping your vehicle by using it to charge the battery. Some electric cars even have a one-pedal driving mode that allows you to slow down by lifting your foot off the accelerator instead of pressing on the brakes. The good news is that this significantly expands the life of your brake pads, since they aren't subject to as much pressure as standard brakes. However, they still need to be serviced occasionally. If you're new to regenerative braking, then one-pedal driving mode may feel a little different at first. Get used to how your brakes feel so you'll be able to recognize any issues before they become a problem. Most brake parts, such as brake pads and brake discs, will last longer than they would on a conventional vehicle, but still need to be replaced when they wear down. Battery issues. When it comes to electric car batteries, there are two things that can cause you trouble. The first is the conventional 12-volt battery and the second is the lithium-ion battery. If you're having trouble starting your car, the first thing to check is the 12 volt battery, just as you would with a gas powered car. This is the battery that powers the dashboard and electrical components, not the battery that powers the engine. If it's dead, you can use a gas powered car to jump start it, but you can't jump start it with another electric car. The lithium ion battery is the more serious EV repair issue. While electric car batteries lose some charging capacity over time, certain conditions, such as overheating, can speed up the degradation process. Newer models have advanced thermal management systems, so this isn't as much of a worry as it once was. Electric cars can last as long as conventional cars, if not longer.